this week's Parsha, when Rivka learns that she has twins in her womb, children that are fighting, the verse says that they were vit rotsutsu, that they were fighting, that they were almost like rots, that they were like running out. And Rashi comments that when she would pass by a holy place, a yeshiva, a place of monotheism, Yaakov would run or want to leave at that point. And Esau would want to leave the womb every time she passed by somewhere unkindly or some other place of idol worship, or some other type of evil place. And the question is, why did Yaakov only want to leave then? Yaakov is inside the womb with this terrible person, Esau. Shouldn't he want to leave all the time? It's a terrible situation for him. And the answer is rather profound, especially considering all of the things that we've seen in the last few years after the pandemic, all the things that we've experienced, and perhaps the way many of us celebrate the holiday that's today, today's Thanksgiving for many of us. And that is, we need friends. We need a chevra. We need connection to other people. There's no such thing as growing outside of a community, outside of a sort of social system, any kind of social system. We have Yaakov, who's together in the same room as Esav, in the same womb. And it's better for him to be in the womb with Esav than for him to be alone. Rav Chaim Shmulevitz points out that in the book of Eov, in the book of Job, when Hashem gives the Satan permission to do anything he wants to Eov, to test his faith in Hashem. It's a complicated story, but suffice it to say, Eov is successful. He, sho he shows, he proves that he is close to Hashem, that he trusts in Hashem no matter what happens to him. Part of that test is not his friends. At no point does Hashem give the Satan permission to take Eov's friends away from him. Because everybody needs friends. Everybody needs connection. Everybody needs a social system. And that's how we grow. We're not supposed to be hermits up on a hill away from everybody else in some cabin in the woods or something like that. That's okay for a vacation. But we need to come back to a chevra. We need to come back to a chabura, to a group of people, preferably, obviously, people of sound mind and body who have goals in mind, spiritual aspirations that are in connection with yours. The worst case scenario, we always need a chevra. We always need connection to other people. We all need to work on building an infrastructure that encourages that kind of connection to Hashem, that kind of spiritual growth that benefits all of us and all of our families. Have a Shabbat Shalom.